One of the things that really amazes me whenever I talk to any of my Ukrainian friends, uh, and most of them are Jesus followers, the thing that amazes me the most during this crazy, awful, terrible time of their lives is every time I talk to them, they just exude and ooze peace. They have a peace about them. They're, they are at peace with their situation. Um, they, they live under constant threat of being bombed. They sometimes have electricity, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have heat, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have medicine, sometimes they don't. Uh, there's no end in sight to their situation. And yet, the ones that I know, the people that I talk to who are Jesus followers, they have incredible peace. They just don't seem to be too troubled. They're not too anxious. They're not too worried. They are at peace. And peace is something that is kind of elusive, and peace is something that is very difficult to define. But you know it when you have it, and you know it when you see it. And you know it when you don't have it, and you know it when you don't see it. It's an interesting thing, peace. Have you ever known somebody who maybe has cancer and uh, they just seem to be at peace with it? They're, they're not stressed, they're not worried, they just go about their life, they fight the disease, they do what they're supposed to do, they have a, they have a peace about them. Their, their joy is intact, there's just something different about them. Or maybe somebody who's going through a, a terrible family crisis and there's just a peace about them. They don't seem to be too troubled. They don't seem to be too worried. You, you, you know people who, in the midst of great struggles and great trials, have been at peace. Maybe that's you. The truth is that most of us don't do that. Most of us struggle when things are bad. Most of us have a hard time in the midst of crisis and in the midst of chaos. And most of us live troubled, and we live with fear, and we live with uh, just this anxiety that life is hard, and the things around us are going on uh, might just be too much for us to handle. One of the men that we've been looking at for the last seven weeks on Sundays obviously had a great deal of peace. David saw a giant um, capable of killing everybody he knew, and yet he was at peace that he could handle it. So peace, where does it, it come from, and how do you have it? And, more importantly, how do you hold on to it when things go crazy? Well, this week I want to talk to you about maintaining peace or finding peace in the midst of chaos because we are in chaotic times. And honestly, I'm inspired by my Ukrainian friends who, in the middle of a war, have found a way to live at peace within themselves. So how do we find and how do we live with peace? I think there's some very practical things you can do and I think there's some steps you can take to increase the peace in your life. And that's what we're going to look at this week. And so we have to start with the words of Jesus. Um, peace comes from Jesus. A Jesus follower is naturally going to have more peace than somebody who does not follow Jesus. Because in John 14, 27, Jesus said, John 14, 21, Jesus said, My peace I give you. So Jesus gives his people his peace. And then he said, I don't give like the world gives. So it's not the peace that the world longs for or the peace that the world understands. This is something greater and bigger and more fulfilling and eternal. And then he says, so do not allow or do not let your hearts to be troubled and do not fear. So Jesus is saying, look, I have given you peace and it's not the peace that had that floats away. It's not the peace that drifts away when times get hard. It is a peace that lasts and it is a peace that sustains. So I've given that to you. So if you've been given the peace of Jesus, then he says, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled when crisis comes. Make the choice to live at peace, not chaos. And do not fear. So Jesus is indicating that those two things, trouble and fear, those feelings like things are out of control and there's nothing you can do and despair. Those are choices that we make. So Jesus really gives us two options, live with a troubled heart or live at peace. Because he's given to us already, we have it. It's not something we have to seek. It's not something we have to work for. It's not something we have to earn. It's a gift from Jesus to live at peace. And it's an, it's an acknowledgement and it's a trust that he is always with us. 
how do my Ukrainian friends live with such peace while well, I've asked them? <laughs> and we're going to talk about it this week. Uh, one of the things that they would say, and one of the things that uh, Pastor Alexander has said is, Jesus gives us peace. My peace I give to you, but I do not give as the world gives. So do not be troubled and do not fear. I hope you can live at peace today. It's a choice. So let's make that choice. Bye.